Hi, and welcome to Yoga to Support You on Your Healing Journey. My name is Mariah, and I'm coming to you from our beautiful Luna Yoga Shala here in the Bahamas. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about this practice first in a separate video. That way, if you'd like to do the practice multiple times, you don't need to listen to all the talking at the beginning. So when you're on your healing journey, it's very important to stay grounded. This practice is specifically designed to help you to stay grounded. This comes from a lineage in the Tantric Hatha Yoga tradition. So I just wanted to clarify, because there's a lot of misconceptions about Tantra in the West. So I'll just say that yoga is not only about postures, and Tantra is not about sex. So there are very uh, diverse ideas and practices with Tantra. But in the traditional sense, Tantra is about prana, or energy, and building and developing a connection to it through these practices. So this practice in general, or this practice in particular that we're going to be working on today, is called a moon practice. So within the Tantric Hatha Yoga tradition, there are essentially three uh, variations of energetic work that we, that we practice. There's the moon, or the lunar practices, which are grounding yin type energies. There is the sun practices, which is developing more of a connection with prana, a sensitivity to prana, and that's solar and yang energy. And then there's the fire practices that combine the two. If you've heard the, the term yoga means to yoke, it's bringing the two together, ha and ta, bringing the two energies together, the yin and the yang right in the navel center, right in our powerhouse. So generally, most people can benefit from a moon practice. We live such frantic, go, 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 day-to-day -day lives. We're living in our sympathetic nervous system, our fight or flight response. And so this practice in particular, the moon practices, ground us. They move us into parasympathetic nervous system. It's langala energy, which is resting energy, and it's especially good for vata and pitta constitutions, if you're familiar with Ayurveda, but generally it's good for all constitutions. We all could need, we all could use some grounding. So the practice focuses largely on twists and forward folds, which draws the breath into the belly. So we use the postures to focus on the breath. We're manipulating the body so that we can draw the breath to certain areas within the physical body. And then we're using the breath to move into our breathwork practice where we're going to calm the mind, calm the physical body even more, and then moving into meditation. So a complete practice involves asana, pranayama, which is the breathwork, and meditation. Asana meaning postures. So this practice goes through the postures, and then we lie for Shavasana, and sit back up for Pranayama and a guided meditation. With the moon practice, again, we focus on twists and forward folds. So you're focusing the breath into the belly, into the lower energy centers, the lower chakras of the body. We focus on lengthening the exhalations, so that will continue to ground and calm. It brings the mind into the body. And these practices, they're, um, they go by what's known as the Stiram Sukham Code, steadiness and ease. So in, this, in these practices, we focus largely on less asana, holding for longer periods of time. 
and minimizing the voluntary movement. So if you notice that you get really fidgety in postures, you feel like you want to get out of postures, that's generally the mind chatter telling you that you're in an uncomfortable situation and you need to get out. This happens in our day-to-day -day life. Maybe we're standing in line where we're somewhere that we don't want to be and we're fidgety, we're looking at our phones, we're constantly living in the future and the past. We're not in the present moment, just being. So this practice, these practices are hugely beneficial to practice on your mat, being present, being in the body, being in uncomfortable situations so that you can go out into the world and be present. Be there for your family, your friends, your loved ones. Show up for yourself in the best way possible. So I look forward to sharing this practice with you and helping to support you on your healing journey, whatever that looks like. So welcome to the practice. I'll see you in the next video.